This school is not just a seminary that only teaches theology. The professors and students who are with you are like your family. From the very first day at East, my heart was melted by warm welcome and help of those whom I met for the first time. This place is um, very commun um, communal. Mm. I think it's because everyone, they look out for one another. We have been in Japan five years. First year in Singapore for me. At that time, the PIM faculty really, teacher really helped me and yeah, so mm. I, I really appreciate that. This is a family journey. This is a marriage journey. This is a faith journey. As a very critical point in our lives, the Lord has used this to minister to us, to equip us and to build us, to give us a very strong foundation. Mm -hmm. Our time in East was one of our highlights in our years as husband and wife. One day my wife Linda has her birthday and Dr. Price and his wife come stand in front of our door in cake and sang a happy birthday song to my wife. To receive a love and care like that, so meaningful for us. I learned not just the knowledge but uh, how as a leader we serve one another. I heard all the faculty members, they serve the Lord in each with faith. And then you pass down this principle to all your students and generations. And I'm very proud of it. I was in Northeast India recently in August, and I link up again with a brother whom I've known for many years now. His name is Reverend Boifu, and he sits in the cabinet or the highest administrative decision-making body overseeing some 8,500 churches. He pointed out the fact that when it comes to church attendances, they are strong. But when it comes to discipleship, they are weak. And if there's a seminary in Singapore whom I could recommend for him to send some of his promising leaders to be trained so that they can go back and address this weakness, instantly, at that moment, I could think of only one. East Asia School of Theology. When I was a student doing a pastoral counseling program, what I gained from the school was not just a set of counseling skills, but it was also a place that contributed significantly to my personal growth and development. So here we are with Dr. Chan, and he challenged Boy Bu. If you want to send people to come to Singapore, send us only your very best. Because when they come, we are not going to just teach them theology. We will mentor them for lifelong partnerships for God's kingdom. I'm not only trained in head knowledge, but I can feel my heart change. My passion for the gospel and to fulfill the Great Commission has grown and continues to grow. One lesson that I've learned at ease is that teaching is not only for the sake of information, but for life transformation. As I'm currently preparing for a series of Sunday school lessons, I'm more aware of what kind of impact I want to bring forth through the lessons. I was put in the, um, the environment in East. Different people have different ways to live out the world. It gave me the hope to see uh, this in Japan as well. Contextualization is very important and I want to teach this class when I go back to Mongolia. I have three MG leaders. They make me want, want to become like them. <laughs> yeah. I learned like their Christ-like leadership in, in the world and in their team. This cross-cultural team internship CCTI was the means to put my head knowledge into practice. This is the hands part. This is what ease has been standing for all those years. So this is your 30th anniversary. I would like to say congratulations. You have just graduated more than 400 over the last 30 years. But by God's grace, may you reproduce thousands more in the years to come. Uh, happy 30th anniversary. Happy 30th anniversary. Happy 30th anniversary, East.